Hey guys, so are you trying to get a camera uh, this year but are really confused because there are hundreds and hundreds of cameras out there and uh, of all prices. So I wanted to make this video um, and show you guys a few different cameras that are pretty good for 2021 and pretty recent uh, within your budget. So I will go over three different budgets and so hopefully uh, no matter your budget you will find a great camera to buy for this hobby. So we have three types of cameras. DSLR cameras, uh, cooled car cameras, and cooled monochrome cameras. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest getting a DSLR camera. The good thing about DSLR cameras is you can start imaging without a telescope, which is great. And we have a few videos and a few posts online uh, showing you how to capture the night sky without uh, a telescope. So if you're a complete beginner, uh, focus your attention on the DSLR camera part. But if you already have a DSLR camera and you're looking to upgrade, we will also talk about uh, cool cameras. So my favorite camera under 900 bucks would be uh, the Canon T7i. So we started with the Canon T3i and the Canon T7i is pretty much the same, but just a, a, a better version, a 2020 slash you know, 2021 version. I'm not sure if the T8i is out yet, but um, whichever one is latest in the TI series is really fantastic. Uh, it has a great dynamic range, uh, low noise, and the good thing about it is it also has a flip screen, which is great. And this one, for example, the T7i uh, is currently on Amazon for 630 bucks, and I'm pretty sure on eBay you can find it for like maybe 300, 400 bucks. And if you're a Nikon guy, I think the Nikon D7500DX is uh, a bit similar to the T7i. It's under a thousand bucks, it's 900 something, uh, but then used on eBay is probably around 500. And then um, if we go up the range and go to between 900 bucks and 1500 in DSLR cameras, we have um, the Canon 80D, which is a, a really popular one. I think it's actually pretty affordable too on this one. Uh, yeah, it's 700 bucks uh, on Amazon, but um, this one is uh, really popular among uh, astrophotographers, along with this one that I'm using right now for filming, which is a Canon 7D Mark II. Uh, we've been using this camera as our main imaging camera for about two years, I think. And in some videos, you can see us, you know, use this on the telescope, uh, and it's it's really great. Um, the nose is really nice. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this camera is that there is no tilt screen. So it's really annoying when you're like swimming uh, to the meridian and you cannot really see your screen unless you do the snake on the ground. But um, it's a great camera for imaging too. And for Nikon, uh, we don't really know much about Nikon cameras, but with our research, uh, we found that the D500 is a, a one that's similar in this price range and in, uh, in terms of stats. And this camera right now on uh, Amazon is about $728. So I'm guessing on eBay is going to be, uh, once again, like maybe 400 bucks used, 500 maybe. Um, but I'm sure you can find some uh, easily for cheap. And then these are cameras above $2,000. So this is really, if you, if you have the money and you want to really get a camera that will, you will use for a long time and you want the best of the best, like a creme de la creme. Um, obviously this one here, which we just got and we we're super happy with it. It's the, the Canon RA, which is built for this hobby. Uh, many people will say that this is you know, too expensive for what it is because you could pretty much just buy a, maybe like a, a Canon 6D and mod it. But uh, this one just comes, um, for the hobby, so the uh, the HA will be more prominent when imaging with this camera. And then a similar one to the Canon RA that's also built for this hobby uh, is a Nikon D810A, uh, which is also, you know, the, the A at the end, uh, it's for Astro. And uh, yeah, so those are pretty pricey, but they're of course the best for uh, imaging uh, nebulae and other stuff um, in this hobby. Now, moving on to uh, the cooled cameras. So we'll talk really quickly about the uh, color cameras and then monochrome cameras. So we have two cameras here. 
Uh, this one is my dream camera of all time. And this one is the one I was using before. So um, those are two uh, OSC cameras, so cool uh, one-shot color cameras, which are pretty easy to use. And just think of them as like DSLR cameras, but without any screens and um, cool. So the cooling part matters the most here because cooling allows you to have much, much less noise. Um, this one here is the ZW ASI 071MC. It is a crop sensor uh, OSC camera. And it's really great. We've taken several images with this and uh, what you can see here. And it's, it's very sensitive. It's very similar to the ASI 1600MM, which is right here actually. It's pretty much the same almost, just this one is a color version. So it's very popular and uh, for the price, it's really great. Now, if you if you want the best as of this year, so 2021, I would maybe not buy this one anymore. Um, I would probably go with the new uh, ZWSI, which was it, 2600 uh, MC, which is a, a better version of this camera, or the QHY, uh, 268 MC, uh, 268C. So both the QHY 268C and the ASI uh, 2600 MC are pretty much the same uh, color cameras, but um, really um, pretty much new. So they are more sensitive and they have better you know, noise and uh, resolution. And so let's talk about the big guy here. This is a full frame camera. It's 60 megapixels, which is amazing. And um, the problem is this one is very pricey, but uh, this is pretty much the one that you will keep for like maybe like five, 10 years before you ever feel the need to upgrade. So this is like, like I don't see myself needing any camera besides this for many, many years. Uh, this is just amazing. Uh, the resolution, the noise, most pictures taken with this camera, you don't even have to take dark frames. That's how good the noise, um, the noise is. So. Uh, if you don't want to take dark frames, you can get away with it easily because the nose is just almost not there. It's amazing. Oh, and if you want the same camera, but uh, if you prefer ZWO, they have pretty much the same camera, uh, just a different brand, and it is called the ZWO ASI 6200 MC. Now, if you want to get a full frame camera that's also OSC, but are less expensive, you can get the QHY 128C, uh, which we used to use and the 128C is also full frame and it's also a really really great camera fantastic one And lastly, let's talk about the monochrome camera. So um, our main Monochrome camera used to be the ASI 1600mm which is the by far the most popular monochrome camera out there and uh, I don't think it's... Uh, this one is really affordable as of today because it's getting kind of old now. Um, so if you want to be safe and get something pretty cheap, or cheap in this world, right? Um, go with the ASI 1600mm. But if you really want something as more uh, updated, uh, go with their new one, which is the ASI uh, 2600mm. So uh, the 2600mm is just much better than this one here and it just came out in late 2020 or 2021, uh, which is pretty good. And then uh, once again, they have the same for QHY. So it will be the QHY um, 268mm, which just came out. So uh, whichever brand you prefer, you can get the, the model you want. So they're, they're both the same pretty much. And then for full frame monochrome camera, uh, my favorite would be this one once again, but the monochrome version, which is the QHY 600M. And it's, everything is the same pretty much, it's just a monochrome camera. And for uh, ZWO, uh, once again, same thing, the ASI 6200MM, which is uh, 60 megapixels and uh, insane dynamic range and all that. So uh, I know it's still confusing here, but uh, it all depends on what budget you have and which uh, type of cameras you want to get. Uh, so for the DSLR camera, the best of the best would be the RA. Um, the most affordable one would be the T7i. For the cool, ca uh, cool color cameras, the best of the best would be the QHY 600C or ASI 6200MC. 
And uh, the most affordable one would be the ASI, I would say ASI 071MC. And uh, for the monochrome cameras, the best of the best would be the QHY 600M slash ASI 6200M. M. And um, the most affordable would be, I guess the ASI 6600MM, which is uh, definitely affordable. It's just getting a bit old now, but um, it's still, it's still amazing. This one probably has the most A parts of all of them. So the most rewards and stuff in terms of pictures. But yeah, uh, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, I know it's still confusing, but um, I was just hoping to make a video um, explaining to you what cameras to look at and then you make a choice. So at least this narrowed down the uh, possibilities. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next time. Bless guys.